the Most Holy Rosary of the Blessed Virgin Mary, Our Lady of Victory, 1571, Pope Pius V, Rome. It was the time when the impious heresy of the Albigensians was spreading throughout the district of Toulouse, striking its roots more deeply day by day. Saint Dominic, who had but recently laid the foundations of the Order of Preachers, threw all his strength into the task of extirpating the wicked error. To make his victory the more certain, he sought constantly in an earnest prayer, the aid of the Most Blessed Virgin Mary whose dignity had been most shamefully attacked by the heretics. It is given to her to destroy all heresies throughout the world. Dominic was admonished by her, as everyone will recall, to preach devotion to the rosary as a special weapon against heresy and vice. It is astounding with what great fervor of soul and with what happy results he carried out this assignment. The recitation of the rosary is a fixed pattern in which fifteen decades of the angelic salutation are separated by the Lord's Prayer, which is inserted between each decade. During each decade we meditate upon a particular mystery of our redemption. From the time of the Albigensian heresy onwards, this holy method of prayer began to be marvelously propagated and promoted by Saint Dominic. The sovereign pontiffs, themselves, in encyclical letters, have from time to time confirmed the fact that Dominic was the founder and author of the Rosary. From this holy devotion countless benefits have been showered the length and breadth of Christendom. Among these most certainly can be reckoned that famous princes, aroused by the plea of Pope Pius V, won over the vastly superior power of the Turks at Lepanto. As this victory was won on the very day on which the confraternities of the Most Holy Rosary throughout the world, were offering up their rosaries, as they had been asked to do, there can be no doubt that this victory was an answer to their prayers. So convinced of this was Pope Gregory XIII that he proclaimed that for so singular a blessing there should be offered everywhere on earth perpetual thanks to the Blessed Virgin, under the title of the Rosary. He decreed also that in every church where an altar of the rosary had been erected, its office should be celebrated in perpetuity under the right of a double major. Other pontiffs also have granted almost innumerable indulgences to the recitation of the rosary and to rosary confraternities. Pope Clement XI firmly held to the opinion that other famous victories must be attributed to the intercession of the Blessed Virgin. In 1716 Charles VI, Emperor-elect of the Romans won a tremendous triumph in the Kingdom of Hungary over an overwhelming army of Turks, on the very day on which the feast of the dedication of the Basilica of Our Lady of the Snows was being celebrated. Indeed almost at the very moment of battle the confraternity of the Most Holy Rosary was offering up public and solemn prayer in the Eternal City. An immense number of people took part in this demonstration. They poured forth with great devotion fervent prayers to God for the overthrow of the Turks. They implored the powerful intercession of the Virgin Mother of God for the help of Christians. In view of this victory, as well as the raising of the siege of the island of Corsera which followed almost immediately, Clement made this decree that the memory of these extraordinary favors might be per perpetuated forever, that the faithful might be thankful forever, Clement extended the observance of the Feast of the Most Holy Rosary to the Universal Church. He ordered that it be continued to be celebrated under the right of a double major. Pope Benedict XIII decreed that all these things be written into the Roman breviary. When the Church was experiencing one of the most turbulent periods in her history, when for a long time a veritable fury of hard-pressing evils was raging. Pope Leo XIII, in a series of encyclical letters earnestly besought the faithful all over the world to recite the rosary frequently, especially in the month of October. He raised the rank of the rite of the feast and added to the litany of Loreto the invocation, Queen of the Most Holy Rosary. He granted as well a special office to be recited on the solemn feast by the Universal Church. Let us, therefore, ever honor the Most Holy Mother of God by the devotion very dear to her.
May she who so many times has answered the prayers of Christ faithful and the recitation of the rosary, who brought their earthly enemies to destruction and defeat, grant victory over the powers of hell to us also. O Ramos! O God, whose only begotten Son by his life, death and resurrection hath purchased for us the rewards of eternal salvation, grant, we beseech thee, that, Meditating upon these mysteries of the Most Holy Rosary of the Blessed Virgin Mary, we may both imitate what they contain and obtain what they promise. Through the same Jesus Christ, thy Son, who liveth and reigneth with thee, in the unity of the Holy Ghost, God, world without end. Amen.